Broken heart, getting strength, stay busy and move on. To help you feel better after the breakup, it is always better to put things in writing. To start a breakup diary is simple, prepare a notebook and a pen. However, the choice of how to make it personal is up to you. A breakup diary can come in many forms, either being a journal, scrapbook or a memoir, choose the best that can help you to survive your breakup. When you write in bad or stressful moments, you will usually end up feeling better. Writing out what you most probably would keep to yourself will help you to vent out your anger, grievance, unhappiness, etc. You will gain more control of your life. At night before sleeping, write down what had happened in the day or any events in your life. This enables you to reflect back on what you have done and allows you to correct your mistakes if you have any. It clears your mind. You put creativity in writing about your life events, such as word choice, the format, poems, dialogue, plain text, etc., or you could use drawings rather than writing. These actions allow your thoughts to be on creative ideas rather than putting yourself in pain and stress. It improves your mental health. Write about your stressful moments or emotional events. Therefore, having a breakup diary would help in healing and recovery from a bad breakup. You should consider the daily entries to be included in your breakup diary format. Try to develop a habit of writing daily. However, it is okay if you miss out any day, just move on with your current day's events. Do remember to keep this diary personal and private, so that you can release your thoughts freely. Wherever you are, your friends and family are the ones who will be available for you at all times. Never forget that your friends and family members are the most important people in your life, even with or without a life partner. They are there for you. Your family members are the ones who are concerned about you the most. Your close friends would support you for your decisions. These people are the ones who surround you most of the time and understand you the most. You will get the best advice. Your family and friends give you practical and reasonable advice because they know you best, your personality and character. They know what is best for you to hear and thus attempt to give advice. They will try their best to help you to get out of bad relationships. They will never fail you. When you are upset, family and friends may take you away for a break or just to enjoy and have fun. When you have no idea where to release your thoughts, your best pal will prompt you to speak of your mind. They may help sort out problems with you. Even if you want reconciliation with your ex, they will find give advice on whether is it worth a try. When you find it hard to bear the heartbreak, your family and friends will stay connected to you to make sure you will be alright, or maybe help you by trying to fix you up with a better future partner. They are good listeners. Never neglect this fact. Your family and friends are the ones who are willing to hear from you and genuinely feel sorry for you and help you as best as they can. You should not become more negative after you experienced a bad breakup. You should not be a sad, depressed and pathetic person for too long as this may become a habit. You must understand that even though you lost your partner of whom you loved most, you did not lose everything. Work hard. This is the time for you to strive harder for yourself and achieve greater performance in your work. Work towards getting yourself a salary raise, a higher promotion, or a great offer that satisfies you. If possible, relocate yourself to a better place. Move to another place for better job opportunities or use it as a way of staying away from your ex and avoiding any contact. This will allow you to pay full attention for your work. Take up more recreational activities. Go for gym sessions, cycling, walkathons and any other physical activities which will benefit you and your physical health too. Get involved in social groups, like attending church activities, volunteering, etc. You may also practice meditations to bring about emotional, spiritual, and mental balance. When you keep yourself busy, you find yourself gaining greater self-confidence. Breakups make you develop low self-esteem, making you feel inferior because someone you love the most rejects you. You grow in maturity and become a better person. You should immerse yourself with your work and keep yourself busy with helpful activities, forcing yourself stay away from feeling depressed which may cause negative indulgence such as heavy drinking, sleeping around, or even suicide. You do not have to worry about your future. At least after breakup, you have a stable working life or better work opportunities. You may find yourself a better future partner in the most unexpected way. Besides, through better working performance, you can prove to your ex that life without him, her still goes on. Breakups can be very painful, as someone you loved and spent time with the most, now rejects you, or that someone who once loved you the most no longer does. 
Since you cannot reverse the breakup, it is time for you to lift your spirits up, be strong, and survive the relationship. It can be hard to pick yourself up, but you can start with the first step, taking care of yourself. Do not let yourself fall sick. Do not allow the negative feelings and emotions to affect your physical health. Avoid thinking too much. Do not get too depressed as it could make you become physically weary, which may affect your daily routines. Most importantly, get enough rest and sleep. Avoid self-destructive habits. Do not take drugs. Do not start smoking heavily, or become drunk often. These will never help you to feel better, instead, it may destroy you, over time. Do also bear in mind, beside your ex, there are people out there who still care and love you, especially your family and friends. Do not fool around with love. Before you fully understand and handle the breakup, do not rush into the next relationship, do not go around sleeping with others, just because you want to get back at your ex or because you feel no one cherish you anymore. Please respect yourself, and do not lower your self-esteem. Keep up with your daily routines. After the breakup, release your emotions. Cry hard, be sulky, and be angry but don't indulge in these for too long. Get back to your daily routines as soon as possible. Getting back to normal or even become a better person is better for you and those around you. Learn to focus on happy thoughts and actions. Staying positive is the best way to heal your pain and recover from a bad breakup. Do not let yourself falls deeper into depression after the breakup, and you must understand that there could be others who depend on you, your working partner, your colleagues, your family and friends, or your children. There are many great things in future ready for you to discover and own them. Get away. You may consider changing your working location, or settle your life somewhere else. Go overseas for further studies or better job opportunities if you can. This is a good way of getting rid of thoughts of the breakup and living with past memories. Increase your knowledge. Start having reading habits, or do plantings, etc. You can start a new lifestyle by indulging in something that you would love to do and it can benefit you. You may even learn more by taking lessons on a different language, cooking, golf lessons, or you can further your studies to get a PhD degree. Pamper yourself. Now as you are being single, give yourself a better life. Go for relaxation spa, reflexology, or pick up yoga, practice meditations to enhance your outer and inner beauty. Pick up a sport, a hobby or interest to do when you are free. Socialize with others, as it provides a healthier well-being condition, mentally, psychologically, and emotionally. Hang out with your business partners even after work for leisure. Have a nice shopping day with your best girlfriends. When you are ready to move on and leave behind the breakup completely, make the right decision for yourself to find a better future partner for a more serious relationship, or stay being single. This time, try not to let it fail again because you experienced this painful heartbreak before. Some breakups may be horrible due to difficulties in fixing big issues. Some people may experience domestic violence, or having a partner who violates their own personal rights. Some are so attached to their partner, that they do not have any idea, how to survive the breakup. If nothing else works, for you to survive a breakup, it is better to seek professional help or counseling to start the recovery process. Counselors give you professional advice. You may get the answers that you are seeking, from counseling sessions. Counselors will give you the most appropriate and professional advice that best suits your situation. You will be encouraged to make a positive change. Counselors lead you to a see the bigger picture on your current issues and open your mind. They also try to show you opportunities to change your situation. Counseling may help in solving a particular problem, which triggers the pain from the bad breakup. Seeking counseling may also help you to get out of depression and stress, allowing you to be less anxious. Counseling guides you to handle the issues that you find hard to get rid of. Counseling sessions may help you to get rid of your heavy negative emotions and feelings after the breakup, such as sadness, grievance, feeling of remorse, etc. Counseling may also help you to control your aggressiveness. You begin to understand yourself better. Through counseling sessions, you may realize some of your own mistakes or what is the main cause of the breakup, which slowly allows you to be set free from the bondages. Get rid of addiction. If you fall into addictions such as drugs, smoking, alcohol, or any other vice activities after the breakup, counseling helps you to stay away from them and leads you back on track with your daily healthy routines.